Hi, this video is going to look at the gram stain technique. So what is gram staining? So, gram stain is the most important differential stain used in microbiology lab. It was developed by Danish microbiologist Hans Christian Gram in 1884 as an effective method to distinguish between the bacteria with different type of cell walls. Gram staining is used to differentiate bacterial isolates into two large groups based on the properties of the cell walls. Following staining, gram-positive bacteria appear in purple color and the gram-negative bacteria appear in pink-red color. So what is the main difference between the gram-positive and the gram-negative cell wall? The gram-positive bacteria will have a thick peptidoglycan layer and ticoic acid and the lipoticoic acid are stick above the peptidoglycan. While the gram-negative bacteria have thin peptidoglycan layer and it has a thick lipid layer instead of ticoic acid. Due to thin peptidoglycan, the gram-negative bacteria which will lose purple color during staining and appear in pink color. Next, what are the different reagents which are used in the gram stain? So we have four different reagents. The first reagent is the crystal violet. The action of the crystal violet is the primary stain. The next one is the grams iodine. The action is the mordant. So grams iodine acts like a trapping agent that complexes with the crystal violet, making the crystal violet iodine complex and stay in thick layers of the peptidoglycan in the cell walls. Next is the acetone alcohol. The action is the decolorizer. Acetone alcohol or ethanol dissolves the lipid outer membrane of the gram-negative bacteria, thus leaving the peptidoglycan layer exposed and increases the porosity of the cell wall. The insoluble crystal violet complex is then washed away from the thin peptidoglycan layer, leaving gram-negative bacteria colorless. And the fourth one is safranin or the dilute carbol fusion which acts as a counter stain or the secondary stain. So for the gram stain first you need to prepare a good bacterial smear by the either direct patient sample or the culture plate with the growth or from the broth culture. So for that first you have to take a glass lid and heat both sides of the glass slide to remove any grease from the slide. Then mark name or number with the marker or with a wax pencil. Then sterilize the wire loop by holding the loop on the top of the flame few seconds till it become red hot and keep it for cooling. After cooling the wire loop transfer a loop of water or saline to the center of the slide and again sterilize the loop and keep it for cooling. So don't add more water to the slide. If you add more water to the slide, more time is needed to dry the slide after the smear preparation. Next hold the loop and then open the culture plate and hold the culture plate properly in the hand and pick the bacteria from a single colony by just touch the loop in the one end edge of the colony and close the culture plate and transfer the bacteria and mix the specimen with the water completely and spread the drop over a portion of the slide to make a thin film. Once you prepare the smear, then sterilize the wire loop properly on the flame and allow the bacterial fi film to air dry. It is important to dry the smear completely. It will take few minutes to dry the slide and make sure dry the slide only in the room temperature.
Once the smear is dried, heat fix the bacteria to the slide by quickly passing the slide to the flame at least three times. The flame should touch the slide for about one second during each pass. And now the slide is ready for staining. Now we can start the procedure of the gram stain. Place the slide on a staining rack. Gently flood the smear with crystal violet and wait for one minute. After one minute, tilt the slide slightly and rinse with a gentle stream of running tap water. Next, gently flood the smear with the gram iodine and let it stand for one minute. After one minute, rinse with a gentle stream of running tap water. Next, decolorize with acetone alcohol. This is the most difficult step in the gram stain. If you add more or less alcohol, it will affect in the result. For a good bacterial smear, add only four or five drops and immediately rinse with water. Then gently flood with the counter stain safranin and wait for 30 to 40 seconds. Rinse with the gentle stream of running tap water. Let the slide air dry or blow gently or keep it in a hot plate for a few seconds. Once the slide is completely dried, put a drop of immersion oil and observe it under the microscope. Now we can observe that the gram positive bacteria appear in purple color while the gram negative organism appear in pink color. In gram staining, first look at the color of the cells, whether it's purple or pink. Then look at the shape, whether it's cocci, bacilli or any other shape. Then check the arrangements of the bacteria. In this gram stain picture, you can see different arrangements of bacteria. First picture show gram positive cocci in groups or cluster. Also you can see the gram positive cocci in chains and tetrads. The pink color represents the gram negative and we can see here the gram negative bacilli in singles and gram negative diplococci. Finally you can see here some of the examples of gram stained bacteria.